Welcome. Welcome to Coffee and Cleavage. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. I'm Lenny. And I'm Chantal. And hello, Gary. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> are you uncomfortable over there? You're adjusting. <laughs> Trying to get comfortable in this little seat. <laughs> your little, your it little looks like producers. a little director's chair. Yeah. yeah I'm directing producers you guys. <laughs> you guys look really good today, though. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thanks. Well... We're going to have a little quick and dirty, a little quick and dirty quiz. Yeah, a little quickie. <laughs> we haven't done one of these in over a year, which is crazy. That is crazy. We used to do these little up. fun games every once in a while just to switch it up. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess here we go. Last time some really naughty stories came up. We'll try not to be so naughty and dirty this time. Oh, that's Just fun, kidding. Though. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, um, grocery store in your underwear or go to the beach nude? I would definitely go to the beach nude before I went to the grocery store in my underwear. <laughs> Don't you feel like it's more acceptable to be naked at the beach, even if it's legal, than it would be to wear your underwear only in the grocery store? Yeah. I feel weird. Sometimes I feel like the kind of, you know, when you see girls with really tiny booty shorts, sometimes you wonder, like, are those underwear? <laughs> you know what I mean? You see girls yeah. in tiny booty shorts at the grocery store? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't. I mean, I I've seen shorts, but yeah. I'm like, booty shorts? But yeah. like underwear, like a thong? Would you wear a thong to the grocery store? No. I would rather lay on the beach naked, but I'm going to be face down. <laughs> <laughs> What if it was like Santa Monica Beach? Yeah, but I'm sa I've seen people naked at the beach in Santa Monica. Dudes laying mm -hmm. out there naked, butt ass naked. They just don't want tan lines. Tan in those cheeks. Yeah, that is true. I mean, you pretty much are pretty much naked. Like yeah. G string and yeah. No, I mean, he was actually naked. He was yeah. wearing no clothes. <laughs> Can't you like get in trouble for that? Yeah, you can. I mean, there are nude beaches in some places, but not in Santa Monica, not in California that I'm aware of. I was gonna say, Actually, I in San Francisco, California. there is a beach oh. that is nude, you but I don't know if it's them. legal. San Francisco beaches are shitty and cold. You don't want to <laughs> yeah, go be are. naked there. It's more river spots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Watch a girl on girl or a guy on guy video to turn yourself on. Um, <laughs> I would say girl on girl rather than guy <laughs> on guy. Yeah, same. Guy on guy do nothing for me. <laughs> Yeah, no. I mean, I could watch a threesome video with, with two guys. That wouldn't bother me. But I couldn't just watch only two guys. No. No, I'd rather watch two girls. Mm -hmm. Gary, I think we're going to skip you because we know your answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, pay for having sex or get paid for it. <laughs> get, get paid for it. <laughs> get paid for it. What would it be like, though? I mean, like, would you ever kind of like, <laughs> I was going to say. I was gonna say it'd be better yeah. to. I was gonna say it'd be better to get, uh, to to pay someone for it because just what would that be like to like pay a guy for sex? <laughs> <laughs> a male gigolo. Yeah, it reminds me of that movie. What's that freaking nineties movie? I know what you're talking about the big. Um, ah shit, Gary, you don't know that movie. The mm -mm. the the male. It's about a male gigolo. Yeah, yeah, I know what Fuck. you're talking about. God damn it. Mm hmm. I wish I could think of what it was called right now. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's fucking funny. Okay. Uh, lick someone's eyeball or suck someone's toe? Yeah, what the Ew, fuck? Yeah. Neither. But I guess I, I, mean, I would be over licking toe. an eyeball. But how yeah. do you even lick an eyeball? Like, you're just, I would automatically close. Just hold it open. Just, here you go. Lick it. It's weird. Really salty, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Uh, threesome or cheating? Wow, is this a real fucking question? Jesus. Um, I guess I'm having a threesome. threesome. Mm -hmm. But wait, is the threesome? Are you cheating on them? <laughs> threesome? Just kidding. I'll <laughs> choose a threesome. <laughs> yeah, definitely threesome. Um, light bondage or sensory deprivation? Uh, I'm gonna go for light bondage. Yeah, light bondage. Mm -hmm. I'm not having my senses deprived. No. <laughs> <laughs> what all does that even mean, too? Does uh, that mean, like, not being able to breathe, smell? Yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. I mean, some people really get off on that stuff, but yeah. I prefer my breathing. Mm -hmm. No, none of that. <laughs> uh, explore light BDSM or have a romantic rose petal-covered bed experience. Well, both of those could be fun. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Um mm. 
But if you have to choose one or the other? Mm, probably light BDSM. <laughs> 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 Depends what night of the week it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, God, that's hard to say because I think both are hot. Yeah. I think romantic, I think of that one like passionate. And I think passionate sex is fucking hot. So. I don't think I've ever had a rose petal covered bed experience unless switching, it was a photo shoot. Switching that <laughs> way, if you shoot. had to pick one or the other forever. Romantic forever? or BDSM? Oh, forever I would choose romantic yeah. because I feel like BDSM forever would be like too much personally. Yeah. yeah. It'd probably get kind of old after a while. It's like, don't fuck up a good thing, right? I mean, it's probably <laughs> true about romantic too, but true. I just feel like a uh, connected mm -hmm. sex experience would yeah. be better than just BDSM for, for, for every single experience. That sounds like a kink. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of kinky, uh, sex toys or handcuffs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sex mean, toys. Sex toys, yeah. yeah. Handcuffs are hot, but I mean. Yeah, sex toys is limitless. Yeah. There's only one type of handcuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> fucking cracked me up okay I, I have a real pair oh like real legit ones legit cop pair oh really yeah. that's scary have you guys ever cool. been handcuffed not not flat not like for real I have a real pair but I've never well, been, I'm like, talking not like you arrested. mean like have you <laughs> 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 that's what I thought you meant too I'm like are you asking Sorry, if we've ever been or <laughs> you knew what I meant. <laughs> arrested <laughs> like handcuffed to a bed uh, I have been tied not... to a bed I've been I've been lightly, lightly, but not like seriously and not handcuffed. Yeah. Like, I've only like ever had like the, the, yeah, like, like the little like sexy ribbon ties. Yeah. Like you're tied up. Like mm -hmm. cutesy stuff, not real, <laughs> not real restraints, not like, you know, strapped down. <laughs> fucking hot though. But I do have one of those. <laughs> Wax play or spanking as foreplay? Mm. Spanking, please. <laughs> a wax um, play is kind of fun. Yeah, a wax play is fun, especially those candles that are massage candles that you that you light just to melt the wax and it's made to pour on the body. But once it hits the body, it hardens, right? Not those candles. It turns oh, okay. into like massage oil. Oh, okay. I've never played with those. Yeah, that sounds fun. But I'm imagining like you pour like Hot actual wax. wax, and it's just like hardens. You're like, wow, that was cool. <laughs> made a little it's sculpture like the whole on you. Initial where it like burns you for a second. Mm. Then, yeah, and then it's all soft. Mm -hmm. mm. It's just a little like pleasure pain. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this one? Oh my god, a uh, meat <laughs> a meat slap <laughs> or slap his meat. I hate when people say that term. I'm gonna slap the meat. I just think it's like, oh, I just think of hamburger. Slap the ham, <laughs> not the meat. <laughs> meat. I just like don't like that saying. Ugh, I don't know. Why. I know. It's not attractive. Okay, would you like to hear a dick slap or a slap his dick? Sounds better than a meat slap. Meat slap sounds pretty gross. Sounds like you're gonna like. Is that like you getting slapped with? Yeah, I don't get the question. Well, is. the it's saying which one do you choose? Like, would you rather be slapped? I mean, a meat slap, oh, which meat is slap actually a, a thing. Meat. They mean like getting smacked in the face. So oh, okay. like, slap it's in a, the face of the dick, or you slap them. Yeah, I slap them. <laughs> slap them in the dick. <laughs> that would fucking hurt. <laughs> but, you <laughs> but you don't think it hurts to get slapped in the face with a dick? I mean, not hard. You do it like. <laughs> Lightly. Just like a, <laughs> you don't like fucking knock her out with it. Well, I mean, she doesn't have to like fucking knock it out of the park either. <laughs> Just give a little <laughs> knock it out of the park. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, Quickie every day or passionate sex once a week? Um, I'd probably go with passionate sex once a week over quickie every day. I mean, quickies are hot, but I feel like the passionate sex you're gonna get. You're going to get more experience. long. Yeah. A quickie every day would just feel like you're living Groundhog's Day and you just you just only get the same thing every day. Yeah. It would just be a little bit disappointing because you don't really, especially as a woman, you don't really truly get you're fully orgasm. satisfied with yeah. a quickie. Mm -hmm. Like I just can't be like quickie orgasm. Like that yeah, doesn't no. work for me. Yeah, exactly. But isn't it one time a week? I mean, is one time a week enough for you guys? I mean, no. But if it's passionate, I would have that over a quickie. Every day. Because I'm not, there's no way I'm orgasming from a quickie. No, I mean, every it's day. It's pleasurable, yes, but you don't get to have an orgasm. At least 
I don't. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Um, do it in a hot tub or a shower? Shower. Shower. I feel like doing it in the hot tub is kind of. Mm. I think we talked about this before too. We're having sex in the pool or, or the underwater. Hot tub. Like if you're sitting on the edge or you're outside of the water. Yeah. Then yeah. But actually in, in the, the water, water? No. It's. You don't you're really get wet down there. Well, like and that. you're shoving water in there. Yeah, you get like you dry UTI and shit. <laughs> you guys kill so many dreams, I swear. <laughs> well, you, you see can that have in movies and everything. You know, it's like, oh, let's go to the hot tub. We're gonna have sex in there or, or the pool. pool. You it's can like, have sex in the hot tub and pool. But I just think being outside of it, maybe your legs are in it and you're sitting on the edge. Right? Yeah, or you're just laying next to it or something. <laughs> yeah. Or- <laughs> It's true because it's like once you do it, you're like, okay, yeah, you did it. You know, you cross yeah. it off your little list, but it's not something that you want to do all the time. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had the, like, when you get out of a pool or hot tub, if you've had sex, how water, like, drains out of you. Yeah. It's really disturbing. <laughs> well, yeah. You, you probably don't have to think about push that. push water up there. And then, yeah, yeah, you push water and it has to come out. So it'll be like Truth five minutes later, it's like. Sex <laughs> and water. <laughs> it just. I just out. think it's not as pleasurable too because you're not really getting wet. Yeah. You know what I it's mean? It's just all mixed up with the chlorine or the salt yeah. or whatever the fuck is in your pool or hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to add that in. <laughs> kill. Buzz kill. Talk <laughs> kill. Um, give a strip tease or receive one. I like giving a strip tease. I do like giving one too, but I've never I've never had one. So I kind of might like to experience that. You like, know what I got a strip for you? <laughs> why not? Magic Mike style. <laughs> yeah, why not? It, from the suit to nothing. Sounds nice. Hmm. Not all the time, though. I prefer to give. Yeah. Have you guys ever done like a full strip tease for a guy? Yeah. <laughs> Just like music yeah. and everything. Music like, and everything. Get in your little. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the, so- the yes. sound effects. <laughs> yes. Mm hmm. Um, face or tits? Okay, I didn't write a lot of details in this one because I, I'm sure you can imagine, and I didn't want this episode to get banned. But <clears throat> where would you rather the take completion? It. Yeah, take it. Mm. <laughs> <Hard> Gary, <on. laughs> I know Gary's answer. My tits. Yeah, same yeah. tits. Yeah, but every guy wants the answer to be face. I like love both, so I don't even know. Honestly, I it could go everywhere in between. I don't know if I could pick one or the other, like forever. I don't know which one I'd pick. Really? That'd be easy for me. <laughs> you could really just do both. Yeah. Shoot it right. I'd probably say face. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> kind of Picasso. <laughs> yeah. Um, never use a dildo again or never use a vibrator again. <sighs> <laughs> I want. I'd. I'd probably choose never yeah. use a dildo again. Yep, that's what I was just gonna say. <laughs> Click gang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need help. Okay. Um, give one presentation naked, or never see your partner naked again. I'd what? be given naked presentations. Yeah. Because how would that even work? Yeah, exactly. It's so extreme that's with these. Up. Either or questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that one's already. Um, commit a minor crime on a first date or get a matching tattoo. <sighs> I'm committing crimes. No way I'm getting a matching tattoo on a first date. Oh, <laughs> that shit's expensive to remove. Yeah, it is. What kind of crime are we talking? Yeah, it's exactly. minor. Minor. Mm-hmm. Like where you're not going to get arrested for it? Or you're just not going to get charged harshly. I'm not sure which. Hmm. You're like, I can cover it up. <laughs> well, a matching tattoo, if I can pick it. <laughs> Something cute and little. Get a little preferably card on your hated them. Preferably though, but, not yeah. his yeah. name. Fuck, I hate this. I need to cover it. Yeah. I guess true. you could get it covered with something easily. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you already have tattoos. Do the most basic shit and then turn it into something else. <laughs> so many people get matching tattoos when they're together. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yep. Uh, one night stand or a friend with benefits? Mm. Mm, I'd probably do friends with benefits. <laughs> mm, yeah. Sounds like a definitely more enjoyable long term solution. Yeah. Than a bunch of one night stands. Yeah. Fuck that. 
<laughs> get spanked or have your hair pulled every time you have sex. Ooh. Get spanked. I yeah. like my hair pulled too, though, but not yeah. every time. Yeah. Why? Because you guys' hair will get pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Gary, way to throw us <laughs> under the fucking bus. Yeah, Gary, what the Every hell? Every girl blonde hair, it's not real hair. I mean, you. if you're at that point where you, like, you need to get hair. your hair done it and your, your webs are low, yeah, don't he pull just my hair. rips it out. <laughs> Do you think most girls with long hair, I mean, for the most part, I guess not all of them, but most of them have extensions. Yeah, you don't many want do. Old. Yeah, you don't really. It sucks because that's like really, I love like pulling girls' hair to a lot of people do. And it's like, don't pull that. It's going to come out. Paid a lot of money for it. <laughs> hard. I paid a lot of money for it. I mean, there's truth to that. But yeah. also, it is real hair. I just want to clarify your your misconception there. It's real hair. It's just not really our hair. Mm-hmm. Well, I okay. know it's real hair, but it's not really like in Attached, there. yeah. I mean, it's in, it's in there, but man, that would hurt to be pulled out from the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I would definitely choose the spanking, but you can still pull hair with you extensions. Can. You just yeah. do need to be more gentle. It's not like ripping it, which I have had my hair pulled like so hard to where I was like, ouch. Oh, fuck? shit. <laughs> like where you're grabbing it, like in a, especially if it's in a ponytail and you're really pulling it at the scalp. Oh, that shit's fuck. not okay. Yeah, no, that would not be enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> not enjoyable. <laughs> Be a bad kisser or be bad at giving head. Oh my wow. god! Both sounds fucking terrible. terrible. Jesus! Wow! Fuck! I don't want to pick you of those because <laughs> I love kissing, but I mean, I also want to be good at giving head. <laughs> so fuck! That's a tough one. Uh, yeah, choose? I don't know. I mean, fuck! Yeah, that's a, that's a pass. You kiss way more though. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. Think about it. How do you know? <laughs> I mean, maybe you guys don't, but <laughs> we don't kiss and tell. <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! Uh, I guess, I guess I'll be bad at giving head, and then my partner will break up with me, even though I'm a good kisser. <laughs> <laughs> what if you could be bad at giving head, and then you can just practice and get better later? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Next question. Um, do OnlyFans as a couple or publish a homemade sex tape? Fucking love this one. <laughs> um, hmm. Like publish, like, we're talking like Kardashian style publishing. Yeah, like where would yeah. that tape go? I don't know. It Just, could go anywhere. But also if you're not already famous, it's probably not going to go anywhere. Yeah, no one's yeah. going to care. No one's yeah. going to care. So I guess I'm publishing a homemade sex tape. Sorry, OnlyFans. Yeah, I would. I mean, because it's leaked anyways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. If there, if if we were an OnlyFans couple, that shit would be everywhere. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Oh Fuckers god, that leak that shit, <laughs> jerks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, mm. this was fun. Yeah, it was. Well, <laughs> hope you were amused, Gary. You're on your phone over there. Yeah. I, <laughs> He's I fucking, was. he's Texting looking at girlfriend. No, he's trying to look up to see if we really did make a fucking OnlyFans <laughs> together. Just checking it. Just checking. All right, guys. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>